This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. Good morning. It is Thursday, August 22nd, 610. Traffic warning for you today, especially if you're coming in on Brighton Avenue. Actually, if you're coming in on Brighton Avenue. They're doing some uh, road repair with a railroad crossing there, and it will be closed all day to all traffic going across that railroad crossing. The St. John one? Near, right near St. John Street. and Where the uh, old 7-Eleven used to be. Yep, and yep right in that, the right cat in that area. The cat doctor. Yep. And- Yep, yep, yep. I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if you normally come in on Brighton Avenue, you're going to need to find a detour. They'll have signs up, but just be aware. You might want to give yourself a little extra time because you're not going to be taking your normal route to get in here. So I had dinner with friends last night, um, and it was Wilson's Country Barbecue here in Portland. You ever been? No. So it was delicious. Um, I had barbecue chicken, and a couple of sides I had... Uh, yeah, I, I went to town. Um, <laughs> I had mac and cheese and collard greens. And it comes with a biscuit that is served with this warm biscuit, served with butter and wild blueberry jam. A little yeah. thing of wild blueberry jam. Mm-hmm. And as we're walking to the restaurant, one of my friends says, it's the biscuits. That's why we come. These biscuits, and this is how <laughs> she described them. They're orgasmic. Okay. And I said, oh, okay. Well, I said, well. Need a table in the corner? Looking forward, <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to that. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to say, while I did <laughs> not let loose, <laughs> I do agree with her mm. 100%. If only I had uh, the sound of uh, that Billy Crystal movie right now. <laughs> When Harry met Sally. That's the one. Yes. And I thought of that movie as I <laughs> slowly <laughs> ate my biscuit. <laughs> slowly ate my biscuit. I'm starting to think slowly ate my biscuit might be our new saying for that. <laughs> <laughs> Too many words. It's true. Too much. Not word. We got to go word economy. We've got to go Biscuit. <laughs> Cut to the chase. <laughs> biscuit. <Pardon> me. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go have a biscuit. <laughs> I, uh, I could handle a biscuit every day. <laughs> you have totally ruined biscuits for me for the rest of my life. Can I have your biscuit? <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. Five calls says it all on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. Do you eat in your car? Five calls says it all, 800-228-1949. This was spurred by yesterday's Don't Judge where we talked about car food disasters. And there were a couple of people that say, I don't eat my car. And I found that shocking. I'm, I was ch- like, I'm a changed man now because I have a new car. I don't know that, how long yeah, that will it, last. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, it's like, no, not you doing that. You get in your car, you're starving. That's how long it'll last. <laughs> all right, 800-228-1949. Do you eat in your car? Five calls. Do you eat in your car? I'm a mom, and if I ever want to hide food from my children, then heck yes. Yeah, it's either the car or the bathroom, and the car is cleaner. So. Exactly. I mean, my bathroom's pretty clean, but they, like, open the door, right. or they'll knock, or yep. they'll peek underneath, and it's just too much. I can go for a drive and stuff my face. I'm, I'm going to guess, though. I'm just This is a, just a guess that you probably don't let the kids eat in the car. No. Uh, see? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely. My God, dude, why don't you just cut out the middleman and throw it on the floor? <laughs> and then exactly. crunch it in with your foot. Ugh. All right. Thank you very yeah, much. My Pre- own foot. <laughs> Five calls. Do you eat in your car? I'm eating in my car right now. <laughs> I don't get breakfast or lunch if I don't eat in my car. There you go. Yeah, exactly. What, what are you eating today? What's for breakfast? Doritos. <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> I, now, is that a bag you already had just hanging out in the car for emergencies? Or did you bring it with you this morning? Oh. Hey, you're a little too healthy for us. We're going to have to go, okay? <laughs> All right. Could be a clean this sweep of a, be, yeah. Of course you eat in your car. Well, how else are you going to get it in? <laughs> Five calls. Do you eat in your car? Yes, we do. Woo! I love the we. Is it a family thing? 
Um, yep, I pretty much live in my car. I see it an hour one way to work every day, plus drop off two kids at daycare and rec camp. So I spend a quite a lot of time in my car. So it's the oh. only time I get to eat more sleep. Have you already had your breakfast this morning <laughs> in your car? Nope, we're on our way there now. Okay, enjoy <laughs> and thank you very much for tipping five calls, says it over to, yes, a clean sweep of, yeah, we all eat in our car. <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show. <laughs> On the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. And now it's time for your daily distractions. It's being brought to you by the Bill Dodge Auto Group, home of the money-saving Bill Dodge Rewards Program. When you buy from Bill Dodge, they reward you with perks, points, and benefits, giving discounts back to it and money back to customers. That's the Bill Dodge difference online at BillDodgeAutoGroup.com. So a toddler in California was accidentally served wine instead of apple juice and ended up getting very drunk. The child's mom talks about how they knew her kid was drunk. She was swaying. She was falling over. She was leaning on the walls. Um, she couldn't hold her head up. She was slurring her words. I'm sorry. Isn't that every toddler? <laughs> every time I see a toddler, they look drunk to me. <laughs> Fun fact, I did the same thing at that age. Really? Yep. I had a pacifier at my uncle's wedding and was going around dipping it in people's drinks. Never thought it was cute. That's disgusting. But, it, but then it filled up. It had a, no, it had a, a, <laughs> I had a, a hole, hole in it. it. Yep. Passed right out. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, Jeff has a pacifier. <laughs> uh, if your cat doesn't like going to the vet, eh, they're not alone. Somebody took their cat last week uh, to the vet and the cat saw that the walls of the room didn't extend all the way up to the ceiling. So decided to climb those walls. Yeah, jumped, see what's on the other side. And then jumped up a wall onto an AC duct and got into the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Good old Allison was was later found <laughs> and taken. That was the name of the taken. cat? That, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Allison isn't like the other. <laughs> a 24-year-old biker uh, in Idaho named Zachary DeBoss got separated from his friends while out on a ride this month. And he, he'd been missing for five days. And police were winding down their search. They couldn't find him. So two of his friends went out to look for him. And they found him. They found him lying by a river, barely alive. Wow. I know. Boy, you're going to have to get them something good for Christmas. <laughs> there is a theory. I don't know if you've heard of this because I know you're a huge Billy Joel fan. Yes. But there's a theory that Piano Man, his biggest song, takes place at a gay bar. And the main argument centers on the lyric, Now Paul is a real estate novelist who never had time for a wife. And he's talking with Davey, who's still in the Navy and probably will be for life. So obviously, Davey and this guy. There's no obvious about that. Yeah, there's all. nothing at all. And no. in fact, they're just. Billy Joel thought it was hysterical. Of though. course. Billy Joel was like, I dig this. That's, That's totally hysterical. Billy. <laughs> Guess what's back today? Pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks, and that's earlier oh, than ever. Thank God. I've yes. been waiting so long. Woo! They beat last year's record by two days. It started last year on the 24th, and today is the 22nd. Mm -hmm. So you're welcome for that. <laughs> I wonder, um, can you share this or is this something Michelle, your girlfriend, would hate? How old she is? Uh, she's 52. Okay. Well, would you say 10 years ago she really, really got into going on adventures? I've always known her as go always going on adventures. According to a survey, the perfect age to go on an adventure is 42. And 36% of people say they've become more adventurous with age. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> yeah, that you're in the other percentage. On top of that, the average person fantasizes about going on an adventure four times a day. That's Wow. I know. I, don't, I was trying to think. Do I even fantasize I don't have time during to the think day? That. Yeah, who's got <laughs> go, who's got time for that when you're scrolling Facebook? Right. Okay, Jennifer Lopez filed for divorce from Ben Affleck on their second anniversary in order to send a message. Apparently, that message is "You suck." <laughs> <laughs> and your final distraction today: <laughs> Alien Romulus director Fede Alvarez went on an Alien subreddit to talk to fans. And he got banned 
for impersonating Fede Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. Good morning. It's Thursday, August 22nd, about 710. And traffic alert for you if you're traveling into Portland on Brighton Avenue or out of Portland on Brighton Avenue. It's closed at one particular intersection. Uh, St. Where John. St. John Street and also uh, Brighton Avenue. There's a railroad crossing there. They're working on reconstructing that railroad crossing so the whole, no, nothing can get through there right now. So just make sure you follow signs or find an alternate route in your Google Maps or whatever you got to do to avoid that. Uh, it's going on today, all day today. So just keep that in mind. So, yes, let's see. Last week, I was I bought myself a new car. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you buried the headline there, Parsons. Of, a little bit, I guess. Um, I just the, the car I had was like, okay, we're, we're done here. Let's let's get something new. Um, and I got. Uh, you better have bought it from Ripley, believe it or not. Ripley and Fletcher Ford, Main Street, it. South Paris, Oxford County's <laughs> premier dealer since 1909. That's the one. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you might have heard I bought all my cars from it. Anyway. Um, I love the car. It's awesome. And it's my first car. First car ever with a sunroof. You bought a sunroof? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love a sunroof. I'm addicted. I'm confused. I'm having trouble with it. Not like opening not, it? Not functional trouble. Just, I don't get how this works trouble. What do you mean you don't get how it so works? So I've got two switches. Okay. One just lifts it up a little for air. Okay. And one pulls it all the way back for the sky. Okay. So here's the thing. I already know where you're going. <laughs> What's the point of the lifting it no, up? No, 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 no. I know the point of lifting it up. It's, okay. it's for wind resistance. I, I get it. They even told me that. Uh, but what I don't understand is I can't. I press the button, and it starts doing this thing. All right? the way back? All the, all the way back. And you don't want that? No. And then <laughs> when I want to close it, I can't. I, I'm always pressing the wrong way. <laughs> I'll press back, <laughs> and all of a sudden the whole thing opens up. <laughs> You're going like, to be a joy during I a rainstorm. I just, and I, and, and I, I had to like, I was messing with it while I was driving, which probably is not a smart idea, but at the, I had to like just leave it <laughs> until I stopped <laughs> <laughs> and I'm st- and figure out, okay, here's this button, does this button and that does, m- and they showed it to me too. It's not like I didn't get the instructions. <laughs> But, All right, so but so far, let me, let me ask you something. This nice new feature is not working well for me just because I can't figure out which way I'm pressing the button. First of all, sunroofs in, to me bring joy. <laughs> okay, that's the point of a sunroof right, okay. in my life. Yeah, it brings me joy. Yeah. I can't. You're not a joy guy. What? Why? What is that? Wait, you, wait, you're you're assuming that. That I am joyous that I have a sunroof, and I'm I'm like it doesn't you don't it's have to, to enjoy. something you have to. It, it's something. You, it's an addition to a car, mm-hmm. right? So no. you had to purposely buy a car with a sunroof. Well, it's not I, a car that just accidentally came with right. it. Right. It wasn't. It wasn't a car that I wanted it for the sunroof. It was just. You wanted and, all the other bells and whistles, and it came yes, with a sunroof. Yes, and it came bonus sunroof. Okay, so. Michelle loves it because she's a joyous human. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. I, I actually, I think it's kind of cool. But it's just I want to figure out how to get it to Here's work right. I'm going to make a prediction. <laughs> Write this down, everybody. August twenty second, twenty twenty four, seven thirteen in the morning. I predict he keeps it shut and never opens it again <laughs> because he hates it. No. <laughs> I, when I get it open and it stays there, it's great. But every time I'm either pressing the wrong button and it's closing the whole thing completely, Jeff, it's opening we'll up a, that back thing. We'll have a little, we'll have a little meeting in your car today. And we'll figure it out. All right. This is the H O M Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, ninety four nine H O M. You're listening to the H O M Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, ninety four nine H O M. The A Best Window Ticket Window is now open. Jurassic Quest is the world's largest, most popular dino event with its unique and exciting experiences for the whole family. Observe the herd of life-sized dinosaurs. No wonder they're at the Crash Insurance Arena. (laughs) Dinosaurs are big, including the, oh, I can't say what they are. 
because we're playing Dinosaur, Real or Fake? 800-228-1949. Hi, H-O-M. Who is this? Alicia. Good morning, Alicia. All right. Who's the uh, dinosaur fan in the house? The little nine-year-old. <laughs> oh, their, my little, their little nine-year-old brain is going to pop open when they see this. All right. You got to get two out of three. I'm going to give you the name of a dinosaur. You have to tell us, is it a real dinosaur or a fake one? Are you ready, Alicia? I'm ready. Snuffleupagus. That is false. That is a false <laughs> dinosaur. That's correct. That's a Sesame Street character. <laughs> <laughs> and for the win, for the four-pack of tickets to Jurassic Park starting tomorrow through Sunday, Velociraptor. <laughs> oh, I could have said that, that weirder. One is a real one. It's a real dinosaur! Woo! You did it! Congratulations! What's the nine-year-old's name? His name is Jackson. Jackson. Jax, is Jackson with you by any chance? He is not. <laughs> he's what? Well, oh, he's not. He's not. All right, well... I can't wait for you to tell Jackson that he's going to go see a whole bunch of dinosaurs. And you can even bring two more people. Uh, You've got a four-pack of tickets to Jurassic Quest happening at Cross Insurance Arena in Portland starting tomorrow. The (laughs) A-Best window ticket window is closed. Till next time. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. And it's time for Don't Judge on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. What's a made-up phrase only your family uses? Or, you know, but you call something different than anybody else does. What's something only your family says? And you didn't realize it until you got out into the real world. <laughs> Don't judge being brought to you by A-Best Window, manufactured and made by Maine craftsmen to handle Maine's unique weather. For instance, here's some examples for you. And you can let us know on Facebook, on the HOM app, or call 800 800- Two two eight one nine four nine. Felicia on Facebook says, "We say good as hello, good morning, goodbye, and pretty much everything. Good, like you wake up in the morning. That's confusing. Good. Well, her three year old granddaughter starting to do it now. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this. Haley says, and then looked it up. Barrel barrel assing. You ever heard of that? No. I actually have heard of that." She says, let me use it in a sentence. Jimmy came barrel assing around the corner at 90 miles an hour and he almost flipped over. Now, my, she says her parents said this all the time. When I said it at a work setting, no one had a clue what I was talking about. <laughs> I looked it up on Urban Dictionary and it's kind of sort of a well-known phrase. And I have heard of barrel assing. And, and yes, it is from my parents. <laughs> Bar- I have never barrel assed. You came barrel assing around that corner <laughs> so fast. You're going to, you're going to fall down. Matt out of Phillips. Now he has cleaned it up on Facebook yeah. for the radio. It's hotter than two mice bowling in a wood sock. <laughs> Wool, not wood. There's no <laughs> a wood sock. <laughs> Those wooden socks are so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's hotter than two mice doing it in a wool sock. Okay. Eight hundred two two eight. And why is that hot? Eight hundred two two eight one nine four nine. It's why? Why would? It's a wool sock, and you're doing it. I H O M. What? What's a well, phrase that your family uses that nobody else does? <laughs> He doesn't understand all he knows about it. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, he doesn't understand all he knows about it. Okay. Uh, that seems like the theme of politics. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, those little sharp things that hold your corn while you eat. Mm-hmm. Corn knobs. <laughs> Corn on the cob with corn knobs. <laughs> and I, I love this. Neil, our, our buddy out of Australia, Melbourne, Australia says, when asked, when asking mom, M U M, what's for dinner, she would say bees, knees, and chickens the eyebrows. <laughs> now, yum. <laughs> he says, not sure where she got that from. It means whatever I come up with. 
bees knees and chickens eyebrows mm, mm. can i have seconds all right what i would is... really like to see a chicken with eyebrows <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you imagine they'd always like have one cocked <laughs> get it uh what's a made-up phrase that only your family uses that's the don't judge today let us know on facebook on the hom app or call us up 800-228-1949 don't judge this is the hom morning show <laughs> On the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. Five calls says it all on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. Do you wash your feet in the shower? Yeah. I recently came upon a survey that said 37% of people don't. And I thought, oh no, that's a minority and I'm in it. Because I don't. I just no. let it, you know. You just let the water run over it? Yeah, and just kind of, you know, I'm standing in soap from the rest of my body. Yeah, not exactly going to run Brenda and, scrub or anything. Brenda on Facebook says, question, where else would I wash my feet if not in the shower? <laughs> Nabil, yes. Amy, yes. All right, but Five Calls says it all is, we want to hear it from you. 800-228-1949. Do you wash your feet in the shower? And should I start washing my feet in the shower? Because I I don't. Unless... I do, but I grab a hold of something first. Unless they're really filthy. Like, you know, if I was walking on grass all day in bare feet, yeah, yeah, I'd wash them. But... I don't. (laughs) Just let nature take its course. (laughs) Yeah, my feet are fine. It's not like there's stuff wrong with them or (laughs) anyway 800-228-1949 five calls do you wash your feet in the shower i do not (gasps) oh yay oh thanks buddy (laughs) i appreciate that (laughs) laura gives you a big cheer for being on big cheer for dirty next time i see you we'll tap our dirty feet together okay (laughs) Uh, that's not what i meant (laughs) (laughs) five calls do you wash your feet in the shower Yes, I do, and yes, you should. Oh, yeah. you're the okay, Kate. Listen, you're a freak who has to change her socks every day too. So, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Kate, I, I wear a clean bra every day. Yes, you have that many bras. Yes. Oh no, I wear the same one all week long. I mean, so, I, nothing's happening there. Well, it goes with your feet, <laughs> so you're fine. Look at that, Kate. Suddenly, I'm not so gross. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Jeff, I'm glad you wear a clean bra every day. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God, I love this. Five, okay. Five calls. Do you wash your feet in the shower? Absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> this isn't going the way Lori thought it would go. <laughs> it's not a clean sweep. There's one dirty guy out there. So, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Oh, could it be could over. Be it. Oh. <laughs> Five calls. Do you wash your feet in the shower? <laughs> Always. Oh. <laughs> Come on, people. Yeah. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> you stand, you're standing in dirty water. Wash them. <laughs> They're not. It's, it's the water's flowing down, and, and it's not like I'm standing. It's, it's not a bath. It's a shower. But, <laughs> but it's flowing down with all the dirt and stuff from the rest of your body. Wash them, stinkers. She is really concerned for you. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I don't know why I admit this stuff out loud. Honest to God. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody washes their feet in the shower except for me and that one guy. <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. Sorry, Jeff, excuse me. Yeah, what, what the heck are you doing on MySpace? I'm looking to Not, not MySpace like the place, but <laughs> All right. in MySpace. You went with the Happy Cola, what was it? Happy Cola what? Gummy candy. Mm-hmm. Okay. The same people that make the gummy bears. The, uh, what's it called? Harbo. Harbo. Har- Haribo. Something like that. Uh, you tore off the... Uh, all right. I so thought ha- they, honestly, I picked up the package thinking they were... Just plain gummies? Gummy bears, and they were like... Cola flavored. Soda flavored, and it and, really tastes nothing like it. Okay. 
So why am I talking about what Jeff ate? Because Jeff goes into our boss's office every day and grabs something out of her candy bowl. And yesterday when he did that, it was empty and it really threw him off. <laughs> There was one piece of candy in it, but it was it was uh, like saltwater taffy type thing. Like and it was, a lappy taffy. It was stuck to the bottom. <laughs> and when I picked it up, I'm like, well, I'll take that, I guess. And the whole basket came with it. <laughs> so, obviously, we complained about this on air. And our boss, Sarah, came in with, I mean, these giant shopping bags. Shopping bag full. Shopping bag. Huge bags of candy. and And not just candy. But like peanut butter crackers, Cheez Its, yeah. the whole nine yards. So I just wanted to know because you're back on course today, Parsons. Yeah, you bark up, if you bark up the right tree, you get action. Right. <laughs> what does that mean? I've got candy now. <laughs> so <you're happy. laughs> you know, they're just going to give you a bag of candy, not a raise. You know? I understand it. But, but hey. It's that little treat every morning that just gets me going. I just need one little piece of candy. I did share your, you know, dismay at going into her office to nothing. So she even offered to make you your own no, no, basket. No, but no. That, that defeats that the defeats point. Purpose. Yeah. It's community basket. It's a community basket. Granted, I eat most of it. <laughs> But it is for everybody. And she leaves her office door open just right. for that reason. I'm like, yeah. It is It is an open door policy yeah. here. Yeah. And as long she, as there's candy, I'm going she in. closes it <laughs> because she's running out of candy. <laughs> it's just a little thing. I don't ask for much. <laughs> and I don't get much. But I get candy. <laughs> and that bowl better be filled. <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. On the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. And now it's time for your daily distractions. It's being brought to you by the Bill Dodge Auto Group, home of the money-saving Bill Dodge Rewards Program. When you buy from Bill Dodge, they reward you with perks, points, and benefits, giving discounts back to it to end money back to customers. That's the Bill Dodge difference online at BillDodgeAutoGroup.com. So a toddler in California was accidentally served wine instead of apple juice and ended up getting very drunk. The child's mom talks about how they knew her kid was drunk. She was swaying. She was falling over. She was leaning on the walls. Um, she couldn't hold her head up. She was slurring her words. I'm sorry. Isn't that every toddler? <laughs> every time I see a toddler, they look drunk to me. <laughs> Fun fact, I did the same thing at that age. Really? Yep. I had a pacifier at my uncle's wedding and was going around dipping it in people's drinks and never thought I was cute. That's disgusting. But, it, but then it filled up. It had a, no, it had a, a, <laughs> had a, a hole, hole in it. it. Yep. Passed right out. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, Jeff has a pacifier. <laughs> uh, if your cat doesn't like going to the vet, eh, they're not alone. Somebody took their cat last week uh, to the vet and the cat saw that the walls of the room didn't extend all the way up to the ceiling. So decided to climb those walls. Yeah, jumped, see what's on the other side. And then jumped up a wall onto an AC duct and got into the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Good old Allison was was later found <laughs> and taken. That was the name of the taken. cat? That, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Allison isn't like the other. <laughs> a 24-year-old biker uh, in Idaho named Zachary DeMoss got separated from his friends while out on a ride this month. And he, he'd been missing for five days. And police were winding down their search. They couldn't find him. So two of his friends went out to look for him. And they found him. They found him lying by a river, barely alive. Wow. I know. Boy, you're going to have to get them something good for Christmas. <laughs> there is a theory. I don't know if you've heard of this because I know you're a huge Billy Joel fan. Yes. But there's a theory that Piano Man, his biggest song, takes place at a gay bar. And the main argument centers on the lyric, Now Paul is a real estate novelist who never had time for a wife. And he's talking with Davey, who's still in the Navy and probably will be for life. So obviously, Davey... And this guy. There's no obvious about that. Yeah, at there's all. nothing at all. And no. in fact, they're just 
Billy Joel thought it was hysterical. Of though. course. Billy Joel was like, I dig this. That's, That's totally hysterical. Billy. <laughs> Guess what's back today? Pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks, and that's earlier oh, than ever. Thank God. I've yes. been waiting so long. Woo! They beat last year's record by two days. It started last year on the 24th, and today is the 22nd. Mm-hmm. So you're welcome for that. I wonder, um, can you share this or is this something Michelle, your girlfriend, would hate? How old she is? Uh, She's 52. Okay. Well, would you say 10 years ago she really, really got into going on adventures? I've always known her as always going on adventures. According to a survey, the perfect age to go on an adventure is 42. And 36% of people say they've become more adventurous with age. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> yeah, that you're in the other percentage. On top of that, the average person fantasizes about going on an adventure four times a day. That's Wow. I know. I, don't, I was trying to think. Do I even fantasize I don't have time during to the day? Yeah, who's got <laughs> go, who's got time for that when you're scrolling Facebook? Right. Okay, Jennifer Lopez filed for divorce from Ben Affleck on their second anniversary in order to send a message. Apparently, that message is "You suck," <laughs> <laughs> and your final distraction today. <laughs> alien Romulus director Fede Alvarez went on an alien subreddit to talk to fans. And he got banned for impersonating Fede Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. So yesterday I went to a Wilson Country Barbecue um, here in Portland. Some friends and I went out and had some some BBQ, and it wasn't even the barbecue, which was, by the way, delicious. Right. I had collard greens and uh, mac and cheese sides. I, you know, I went healthy, and <laughs> <laughs> but it was the biscuit that they serve that uh, one of my friends was like, "I just want to warn you." This biscuit is orgasmic. And I was like, ooh, orgasmic biscuit. I'd go see that band (laughs) or that stripper. (laughs) So uh, I just want to confirm that, yes, the biscuit comes with a little side of soft butter Mm -hmm. and wild blueberry jam. Just a skosh. Just a a skosh. Just a skosh. And it is, yeah. It's going to be okay. And it's a... are you, are you right now? I thinking about it. I need a little more than that. I actually need the biscuit, but I have to say it's a whole lot easier to get there with a biscuit. <laughs> There's I can't even do it anymore. Now this is the H O M Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, ninety four nine H O M. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. You know, I think um, we might have to bring this Don't Judge Back. We've done this before, but it, uh, it it's become a Reddit thread, and it's really, really funny. Some of the answers. <laughs> what is their favorite family-friendly phrase for buttering your biscuit? <laughs> I love some of these. Um, some of the better ones are helping each other with our taxes, going to take a nap, moving. Well, that one's not too off. Moving. For, <laughs> you it, when you it's must over. be a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> um, having an adult meeting. Moving furniture is the one that, you know, it's like, how loud are you? Um, go- <laughs> I don't know if this one would actually get rid of the kids, but playing hopscotch, it's like, wouldn't mm. they? Going to fold laundry. <laughs> you got, See, now, you got to go with, um, you got to go with the stuff that kids have no interest right, in. Insurance, right. taxes, you know, moving what was the furniture. Bed, what was the bed one? There is no bed one. Uh Nap, taking a nap, taking going a nap. to take yeah, a nap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, the moving furniture one, I'm concerned about their buttering biscuit routine. <laughs> well, no, nah, I can't say that. 
Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think I can say that. I'm not going to take the chance. Oh well, then tell me off air because I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it all day long. Okay, well I'll tell you on air if <laughs> dancing around this. So if there's noise of them moving furniture, then that would actually work for the kids. See what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying, and what I'm saying is, if you're making that much noise, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I think we know. <laughs> you're doing, that's way too much energy being spent, okay? Way this too is the much. HOM Morning Show. <laughs> On the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. What did we learn today, Lori Bornis? Well, we learned that uh, everybody washes their feet in the shower and that I'm gross. Except you. Yeah, except me and some dude. So that's bad. We learned that you are confused by your sunroof and I get excited by biscuits. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the sunroof down here eventually. Just... We, learned, we learned a whole bunch of new neat phrases that uh, are kind of exclusive to your family. Like you use uh, these with your family, but when you go out into the public, nobody knows what you're talking about. I think one of my favorite ones is because I've actually heard of this one and I didn't realize other people knew it or that it was even weird, but barrel assing. When you bear, when you bear, you barrel assed around that corner so fast that thought you're going to hit the wall. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, th- I love this. Uh, Haley on Facebook said that she uses that and then she used it at a work setting and no one knew what she was talking about. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. All right. So tomorrow it is a feel good Friday show. Thank the Lord above. We'll have uh, Jessica Gagne on and my favorite uncle, Uncle Nicky. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM.